So about a year ago, I made a video just like this where I hired a stranger to build me a house. It turned out so cool because one, I wasn't building it, so it was a surprise to me. So I basically gave him a description and then they built me a house. It's so fun doing that because it's just like ordering something on Amazon and then you wait for it to come in and there's the anticipation and then you get it and then you're so happy. It's just a surprise, you know? I was thinking to myself, why don't I do it again? Most people, when they do this video, they'll hire someone random off of Fiverr or something, but I'm not into getting scammed. I want a nice house. I was just using social media and obviously, you know, you come across builders that do the same stuff as you. And I came across Muggsy, and he makes the most beautiful builds. Just look at all the detail. How is this Bloxburg? This is stunning. I was just staring at his builds. I realized it's time to message him. We can't just repeat what we did last time, so we have to step it up a little bit. So instead of one builder, I got two builders to build me a house. This is Kayla. They also make the most insane builds. If you watched my Judging Your Bloxburg Builds video, their build was the thumbnail. Just amazing. Can we talk about this? Look how beautiful this is. So then eventually, we made a group chat and we all started talking. I sent them some inspiration pictures. I'm gonna give you a feel what we were looking for, right? Very floral. I wanted something botanical. They ended up making two different layouts for me to choose from. It was like shopping for a house and I don't even have to make it. They're just doing it for me. This was the first layout and then this was the second one. They were spoiling me. Now, mind you, they started building this in November and it is now February. So they were so dedicated. They built it for almost four months straight. <laughs> so I just got home from my architecture class and I got a text that the house is done. I've only seen part to the exterior just because when I join and load the plot, I see it. Oh, okay, I need to stop talking. We're just gonna look at it. Okay, ready? Oh! Oh my god. Just, let's take this in, right? This is all custom. The heart window, like, the first things I see. The trees, the heart window, the gardening, the colors. Ah! Oh, does that say French Rose's house? Oh! <gasps> There's real akumas, guys. They told me that they wanted to add real akumas into the build, but I didn't really, you know, you think of something in your head, but you don't actually know what it's gonna look like in real life and, or should I say in game. Expectations have been so exceeded. Like what? Just the variety of the plants, the color scheme, all the detail. We need to just look at everything. Let's look at the outside. The house is even on a slant. It's all leveled out. This is so, so nice. Oh my God. The overgrown plants on the exterior. And then there's stairs. Look, there's even a curved path. Like, Blacksburg doesn't have that. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I'm actually so happy. I wasn't expecting anything less, but man, even with that, my expectations have just been exceeded once again. This is so good. First off, exterior, amazing. I love the colors. Heart window, like, come on now. That's all custom basic shapes. A few videos ago, Isaac and I tried to make a heart window and it did not go well because it was so hard to do. I physically could not do it. It took too much work and I was like, I don't have the patience, but they did it in my build. So they put so much time and effort into this. Oh my Oh my god, it's a heart fountain and it has bows on it. I think I'm a good builder and then I see this and I'm like, humbled. All right, let's go inside. Oh my god, we have a Rilakkuma rug and then we have a little Rilakkuma that's in a spa sitting on the lounge chair. I just like the sign. They put so much custom effort because they knew I liked Rilakkumas. They know I like pink, so they added it. So thoughtful and so cute. Oh, look at this custom couch. We have the hearts, the Rilakkuma that's got a little chef hat on. I love the color scheme already. This just screams perfect for me. I wish I had this in real life. I'm already like stunned by the house and I haven't even went inside yet. Let's actually go inside. Oh my god. I feel like I'm living in a dollhouse right now. This is so pretty. It's giving that cottage vibe, which I love cottage vibes. I would live in a cottage if I could. Dude, custom furniture? Hello? Oh! Oh my god! Dude, the staircase and the tilted painting? What? I just realized the floor is custom too. This whole elevated ceiling is so beautiful. I feel like I've just been transported into the Winx universe with all the fairies. I'm such a flower girl. I love floral print. This is amazing. Also, the staircase. These are all decals. They manually placed every single one of these decals all the way up the stairs. I love this painting because it goes so well with this face right here and the overall theme of this house. You know, like botanical. Everything's just so well thought out and intricate. I love it. Also, dude, custom custom table. I think I'm gonna pass by so many things that are custom and I just won't notice because they just look so realistic. So this is the kitchen in the dining room. Dude, this is insane. I'm like fangirling because this is on my plot right now. We have this beautiful dining room table and then we have this sort of day bed sitting area for the dining room table too. Also, dude, custom pillow. Hello. Look at that design. Literally looks so realistic. I didn't even realize that it was custom. Like it just, I thought it was a Bloxburg item and then I was like, wait, no, we don't have that floral print. Look at the wall trim and the curtain. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say because there's I keep looking at one thing and then I find something else and I'm like admiring everything piece by piece. They even added the chandelier has a little top crown molding thing on the ceiling. I don't even know what you call that. They literally added a decal on the ceiling. That's how detailed they are. <gasps> Another Rilakkuma! 
We have a little kitchen Rilakkuma. Oh my god, we have a plate arrangement and some crown molding. And I just love how they added this cabinet specifically to be open. It looks like it's lived in and it looks used. I love that when blocks were built because you don't want everything to look so commercial. Like, this is not an Ikea. All right, let's go into the kitchen. This is so pretty. This reminds me of a greenhouse, like all the flowers. This is so funny. The first thing that comes to my mind is like Claude Monet, but I don't know if that's by him, but <laughs> the Rilakkuma's just standing in the middle of the painting. That's so funny. <gasps> oh, there's an upstairs. Oh my god, look at the carpet. I love that pattern. There's little bees on it. It literally looks like a used house with the kitchen sink. <gasps> oh my god, it's a Rilakkuma placemat. Stop. Stop it right now. That's so cute. And we have the flower arrangement here. There's nothing I could even criticize about the house. It's just amazing. We literally have a floral cutting board. Just look at that view. Like, this is all basic shapes and structural. Beautiful natural lighting coming in. It just gives off a beautiful cottage aura. You really feel like you're immersed in a cottage. I feel like I'm reading the book A Secret Garden right now. And then you walk out and then you're in the area of the garden with the sitting area. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. I'm just in awe of the tree. I was learning how to make a custom tree and the price of it is not cheap. So honestly, I'm a little scared to see my plot value. Now let's check out this side. Again, the real Akumas. I just love how the flowers are overgrown and they're kind of coming into the house. Oh, <gasps> so here's the first bedroom. Oh my god, is that a custom real Akuma? That's so cute. Oh my god, I think that's custom because I've never seen that before. This is my dream. I actually can't believe this is my plot right now. This is so pretty. And the mirror, oh my god, stop. This has been my dream bedroom. I want this mirror in real life. It's so pretty. And we have this beautiful fireplace arrangement in the wallpaper. Their coloring skills are unmatched. And then here's the bathroom. I love the paintings and decals they pick. Oh my god, the heart mirror. Oh, everything's so well decorated and it feels so filled. This is so ideal. <laughs> the little Rilakkuma bathing in the tub. The curtain is so pretty. I love the pattern. It's all pink flowers. And this isn't even it. Like, we have a whole upstairs to check out too. Once again, for the staircase, it curves in such a beautiful way. Such a traditional, classical, botanical. Kohet Lana Del Rey. I love these decals. Oh my gosh. We approach the upstairs. Oh, here's the heart window. It's so pretty. I think one of my favorite things about this build is obviously the heart window, but also just the way they tilted the decals to make it look like an actual portrait laying on a table. Like, that just looks so realistic. Oh my god, look at this. The whole lounge area. And then you get a view of the living room over here. And these skylights. Painting choices are unmatched. This would be the ideal spot to be doing my makeup or homework. The real Akuma detailing is top notch. Like, I love you guys. Thank you for doing that for me. I feel so appreciated. It's such a nice feeling. And then over here, I think is a kid's bedroom. Oh, this is so cute. We have the little heart plushie that just came out. Oh, the little real Akuma. There's a sleeping one. Custom hampers. We have the A-frame style upstairs. And then we have the view from the upstairs. Like, what? This is so good. I just literally can't believe this is on my plot. Like, what? Look at that view. The front and the back are beautiful. We literally do like a reversible house. Now, I'm a little scared to see the value, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, I do not care. 1.8 million. I was thinking it costed a lot more just because of all the plants and the custom stuff. Totally worth it, in my opinion. This is a beautiful house. So recently, I've been looking for a game to play that's perfect in all elements, including building, doing quests, storyline, that sort of thing. So I recently came across this game called Disney Magic Kingdoms. So I want to tell you about it because I think you guys would love the game. So while you're playing this game, you're building your own magical park, but you also get to interact with Disney and Pixar characters. The coolest thing was my favorite Pixar character was Lil Bo Peep, and she's in the game. So I was like, yes, my queen is here. During this game, you get to battle Disney villains and restore this magical theme park back to what it was. As you get further into the game, the more buildings and characters you unlock. Right now, the map is themed for winter. So it's great because there's regular events and rewards. So you get a bunch of stuff. One of my favorite builds right now is just Mickey's house. It's so nostalgic to me growing up watching Mickey Mouse. It's really cool to be a part of their world. This game is available on PC and mobile. If you'd like to play Disney Magic Kingdoms, I'm gonna link it in the description and it's also gonna be a pinned comment. Make sure to show me your builds. I would love to see them. So tag me on Instagram. Oh wow. Yo, Isaac, 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 you wanna wiggle your booty? <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Eww. Look at the sign. Eww. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my biggest op has finally arrived. I like these steps. Bro. Oh wait, actually, I can tell these you didn't steps. build this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. No, I'll be honest, you didn't build this. We know you didn't. No, I, didn't. I can see this. parts of it. I can see I parts it. of it. I can see you parts can of tell. it. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell. When's you the last time you built tell. something? Oh. Uh, well, you see, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm who, trying who, built to who built this? Who built this? Who built this? Who built this? This was made by Muggsy and Lurney. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Ah, uh, yes. The two, the you two need legends. To learn from them. Okay. Yeah, she's not very good at learning, though. I can't lie. I'm what? What? Look at the Rilakkuma. Isn't it cute? 
Oh. I flattened it. I, I have it in a, I have it in an arm hold. Oh my god, that's a choke hold. That's that, that's murder right there. Smell my armpit hair. Yeah, oh. smell oh. his armpit hair. I bet your I bet your armpit hairs are rainbow too. You know, no one's ever said that to me before, but they are. You know what else is rainbow? Annex, look at the painting behind you. Oh my god. <laughs> Who photoshopped this? Was this you? No, it wasn't me. Was it? This was them. Yeah, it was them. What the I'm frick? I'm swearing you guys. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Damn, I, I want to live here. No snow. Look at all the flowers interesting, interesting. and the trees. You know, I just realized they're following me in the most cinematic movie way possible. <laughs> okay, so this is a greenhouse, but it doubles up as a kitchen. That's Holy sh- <laughs> Bro, I'm, li I'm literally snorting the sunlight. Holy. Bro. Holy. Yeah, I see oh that. my god, the <laughs> rays, when they bro. See a light. Oh my god, I'm getting railed by the sun rays. Why is there a hole though? Why is there is a hole a like in the bottom of your face? It, it always has like really annoying voices coming out of it. It's, it's kind of like, I feel like it would just shut up. Like I wish it would just shut up, you know? <laughs> and just look at the floor, bro. Oh my building. gosh, um, so, so detailed bro what are you stop standing in the way you're getting you're in the did way did you guys of the see the other chair flower. with the other rilakumas you know i have a question why yes. did they add so many rilakumas was yeah. it your suggestion or no they just knew i liked rilakumas so they added them wow uh, freaking meat riders so what are your thoughts <laughs> what, what do we think girls you know i mean it's all right i guess okay uh my thoughts is isaac so uh what did you tell that girl about noel again oh no, uh, i think this is a poutine, beautiful poutine, not, not large fries poutine what is bro talking about i think he's trying to ignore the question he's and just large totally, ice yeah he totally is has tea, ice he's totally getting iced tea <laughs> <laughs> so what are okay, our thoughts yeah, on the what? house girls uh i think it's a beautiful build but be definitely better than anything you can ever make oh ever like literally ever like if you dedicate your the rest of your life to building a house like you are never getting this level of good because you are just never getting this level of good in fact just to let you know one more time you are never getting to this level of good and just one more reminder you in your life you will never get this good and just one more time just to really put the a final <laughs> nail in the coffin you are never gonna get this good and like just in case you didn't hear me <laughs> Guess what the value is. What's the value of the house? Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Annex, let's make a bet. Let's make a bet. Let's well, make a bet. you have your screen. Oh, shit! <laughs> wait, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> no, I didn't. I made sure to not look at it. On God, on God, on God. Are you ready? Yeah. On go. Three, two, one, go. 900K. Oh. 1.87 million. Wait, wait. 1.807 million. Or not, like, <laughs> right. it, might be, it might be over 1 million. He's a liar. It was 1.807 million. He Yo, what? Two <laughs> times whatever I get. <laughs> Yo! Are you serious? No way. <laughs> no, I just oh said you're, I, you're not one point eight zero seven. That is ridiculous, <laughs> bro. Chat. He didn't say on go. <laughs> chat. Does she want me? God. As always, we need to go into Isaac's neighborhood. I threw a party, and I'm gonna have everyone judge the build. All right, we got Sophie going in. She's scoping the area. I'm gonna just follow her around. I'm her paparazzi today. This is so cute. I agree. Literally no words. Like, how is this real? My girl Sophie is standing on the counter. This is how important it is. She needs to stare at the ground and the carpet. Wow. Literally everyone is speechless. Also, she looks like she could belong in this house. She's got the whole pink bow fit going on. Girl, this is a masterpiece. I love this. Is that Willy Wonka? OMG, so pretty. Everyone is loving the real Akuma, as they should. <laughs> this is so preppy. So Lana Del Rey coded, period. This house is in fact faulty neighborhood approved. I'm so happy I asked them to build me a house because I don't think I could have ever dreamed it to be up to this. Thank you to both of the builders for making this for me. Literally like my dream Barbie house. It's so beautiful. Make sure to check out both of the builders because they deserve all the love. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you next week. You know you love me. XOXO. XO. French Roses Girl.